Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Texture Pop Node. So we're gonna jump into Fusion and we've got this footage. And a lot of times we work with our midtones in footage like this to kind of separate or make different stuff pop. And normally within the color grading tab, if we go to our, uh, our primaries uh, right here, this mid detail, and under our HDR, our mid detail down here, this is what the texture pop node is doing, but it's uh, doing it in a little more sophisticated and flexible way. So within Fusion, we can use that node. So let's go ahead and add a texture pop node. And this node is studio version only, unfortunately. So let's jump in the texture pop node. And uh, we've got two operating modes. We've got simple and advanced. And additionally, we have two color modes to operate under, whether it's RGB or Luma. And uh, we will come back to all these. Under our output mode, we can view our final result. We can review our differences. So if we start adding some details or changing things, it's going to show the differences of what we're applying. And we've got difference magnitude. So if you're not really seeing anything when we're on the uh, fi final result, if you switch to difference or difference magnitude, you can see what those sliders are actually doing because you'll see the subtle changes that it's making that you may not see just in the final result. So back to our final result, let's go ahead and reset this. So our strength is exactly that. It's going to let you exaggerate whatever uh, changes we make here within the details. So to see those changes, if we go in the negative, we are softening our details. And if we go in the positive, we are sharpening our details. And this strength just allows you to adjust how much you're applying. So you can see we are exaggerating the strength of those details. Under tonal range, we uh, can reduce the effect we've created within uh, our different regions. So we can reduce the effect. Let me go ahead and crank this. We'll uh, crank that. So we can change the effect on our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. And again, we can see this, but uh, if we need to see what it's really doing, we can go to our differences and we can change our highlights and we can really see uh, what is changing within our highlights. And then we can uh, change our low range. And we can change our high range. So let's go ahead and refresh this and we're gonna go to our advanced mode. So now under details, we have individual uh, sliders for our rough, coarse, and medium, and for our small, fine, and tiny. So if I crank the strength, we can go ahead and see what these different sliders are doing. So our rough is going to catch the larger rough stuff. Coarse, the smaller, large stuff. And the medium, the medium-sized elements within our image. Our small is going to get the small, our fine the fine, and our tiny the tiny details. And then again our strength is just how much we're applying or exaggerating those uh, settings that we put in. So for this footage, if I shut this off, you can see her face is kind of uh, not blurry, it's just not really present. So we'd wanna use this node to make her face maybe a little more clear and pop a little more. So with that, we can uh, soften up our rough stuff, bring down our coarse a little bit, bring down our mediums, In our smalls, we're probably going to bring down a little bit too. And then our fine, 
we're going to bring up and our tiny will bring those up a little more. So if I go back and forth between the original and what we just changed, you can see her face is a little more prevalent in the backgrounds, a little softer. So it shows her face a little more. So that's what texture pop off. That's what texture pop on. And if we need to change anything within our uh, ranges down here, we can readjust some of our shadows or our midtones and our highlights as well. Now, if we want to operate under Luma Chroma, we get additional chroma detail in here. So we can, uh, I'm going to crank this so I can exaggerate this. And it's the same as within our details node, we can change the rough, the coarse, the medium, the small, the fine, and the tiny. So we can change the rough values, the coarse values, the medium values, our small values, our fine, and our tiny. So if we go back and forth from our original to this, that's our updated footage with a little, little better uh, view on her face there. So that is the texture pop node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.